Girls, I got something new. Stay tuned. Hey Divas, it's your girl Keisha. Welcome and welcome back. And today we are gonna be setting up my brand new planner um, that I just received from Cloth and Paper. So if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing, then don't move. So yes, Diva, if you're new here on this channel, I mainly focus on budgeting, sinking funds, saving challenges, all the things, any and everything that has to do with your money. But I also really like to preface that planning plays an important part in our budget. If you don't have a plan, whether that be a plan for your day, your month, what have you, your money would just go out the door, never <laughs> to return again. So I take planning just as important as budgeting. And we're in July. We're halfway through the year, so your girl needs to do a little refresh, and I want to do that with you today. So first things first, I'm going to kind of show you guys what I'm using today. So I have a new cloth and paper planner. This is their new planner that just was launched a few weeks ago, so I was able to get my hands on that. So we'll open her up in a minute. Put that to the side. Um, I have my old A5 planner. Well, she's not old, but I did put her aside Um in May, I believe, was the last time I used her, or April. So I have her here as reference if I'm gonna pull anything out. And because I'm a paper girl, I have not one, but two boxes of inserts, and I also placed uh, a new order as well. So let's get to it. Okay, Diva, so before I unbox the main attraction, I do have some happy mail. I did order some things to go into the planner. Girl, it is June, the end of June when I'm recording this and I have a little cold. I don't know where she came from. She got here and she's she's holding on for dear life. So nonetheless, I wanted to get a couple of new inserts and because this planner is different than my black planner, this, um, this set schedule notes list and finances and then I have the today tab as well. And Lastly, here are some task cards, some cards you can just put to decorate your planner. So that's what I have from cloth and paper in addition to the planner. Then put this to the side. Next, I have an order from Fancy Plan Co. And it came in a package, but I received it when it was raining and the package seemed a little wet. So I wanted to take out the inserts right away because I didn't want that to get damaged, but I hadn't opened it up. So let me go ahead and do that now. The one thing I love about Fancy Plans Co. is that she has inserts for pretty much everything you can think of. She's much more broad in what she offers versus cloth and paper. Um, and I guess you get to do that when you're a small boutique because you can just have so many different options. And it took me a few days to pick out these inserts because I wanted to be sure that I was one, one of them and two was going to use them. So I'm just gonna show you what I have here. So first up is the social stats, which I have in a larger size because the past two months I have been um, planning out of my happy planner big. So I know this is the answer that I was going to use and that I need, and I didn't wanna keep going back and forth between the two planners. So I'm glad I got that. So the next one is the weekly review. I thought this was another great insert because it kind of holds, well, not kind of, it does hold me accountable just to go back and overlook my week to see how I did. So it has accomplishment, challenges, personal, slash social, work, career, health, and fitness, and my favorite moments for the week. So I thought this was a really, really good insert to have as well. Next is the weekly planner. And I also love this because again, coming from my big planner, I was able to capture all the aspects of my life in one shot. Let me just go ahead and show you what I mean by that in my big planner. Okay, so this is my happy planner big that I'm currently still using for the next few days. And this is the teacher layout, the teacher planner layout. And the reason I enjoyed this layout, which is why I got this one from Fancy Plan Co. is because I'm able to kind of break my week out in all the categories that I have going on. So I could just come here and see everything. So appointments, my business, things I need to organize in my house, volunteer work, and this section was for my kids, you know, who had practice on what day, etc. 
So I wanted to keep that same format, obviously in the A5 size. So when I saw this, I knew right away that I had to have it. So I'm excited about this insert as well. Next, it goes with the social media, with the um, my social stats, it's part of the social media section. So this right here, I'll just write down on which days I'm gonna post what to which platform. So again, I had this in the big, and the same thing for this one as well. This is the video idea. So any ideas I have are right here. And then if I planned it, filmed it, edit, upload, did a thumbnail, description, and screen card tags, did I post it? So this is a great checklist for any of you guys who are content creators or thinking about becoming one. This is a great checklist to make sure you've done everything before you post it to whatever platform you're gonna post it on. So I definitely love this one. No, I made a mistake with this one. I must have picked the wrong punch. This needs to be A5, but girl, we are going to, I'm gonna make it work. This is back to school checklist, girl, because I know school just got out, but, and the other ones I'm familiar with, I just want to open this one up and see. Okay, so it has two months before the first day, one month, two weeks, one week the night before, first day of school, so school supplies, clothing, groceries. This is really good for back to school. I have three kids and I have one going into middle school, so his schedule is gonna be different than my other two who are still in elementary school. So um, this is a really good sheet to have. When I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm so excited for that. So this was a cute, a cute insert as well. Next, we have the meal planner. I absolutely meal plan. The biggest thief out of all our budgets is the food. Okay, girl, your grocery eating out is the biggest thief out of your budget, trust me. So meal planning is essential. So I have a meal planner in my larger planner and I had one in my A5 before, but this planner, I'm really going with like a minimalistic kind of vibe. I'm really trying to embrace my soft girl era. You know, all the girls in their soft girl era. But I really believe that this is the kind of vibe I'm going for. So I decided to get new meal planner inserts. Routines, so I do have a routine sheet but this one makes me more accountable because you know obviously you write down your daily routines and then you have a checklist throughout the week to see if you're actually doing that so I really appreciate this one um, to hold me accountable so I have to actually use it and lastly girl when I saw this I said she must know me she must know me because I'm gonna be very transparent after pay and that PayPal Paying for has changed my life. I don't know if it's for the good or the bad, but it's definitely changed my life. And just keeping track of these payments coming out every two weeks, and I have a ton of them. Um, I thought this was such a dope idea to have this as a tracker. So this is some of the, so this is one tool that I'll be using, you know, with my budget planner. So that's that. So these are all the great, amazing inserts I have from Fancy Plan Co. And I also have an announcement to make that I am now an affiliate of Fancy Plans Co. So I wanna thank At Home Kita for um, approving me, you know? I'm sorry guys if you hear my dog walking in the back. I'm really trying to keep her out of my videos, but she just always wants to trollop around like I'm not busy. So I did apply for to be an affiliate after I put the order in. So I wasn't sure and then I got the thumbs up and I was like, yay. So if there's anything here you saw today that interests you, I have an affiliate link down below where you can save 10%. The code is Keisha10 and I would love for you guys to go to her site and trust me, I have ordered from her several times. Anything you could possibly think of, that you have in your life that you want to track, put in a planner, put part of the routine. Trust me, your girl has it. She has it. Okay, let's get on to the big one. Okay, she is here. I did a short with me opening her up, but I wasn't ready to set her up. So here she goes. 
this is the new Quantum Paper Foundation Planner. That's the collection. And this is the and this is the color in Cortado. So I love, 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 love this planner. It's so soft. Um, I'll show you the difference real quick. So this black planner also came from comes from cloth and paper. So it's very hard, very durable, good for the fall, like good if you're looking for a good solid black planner. But this just telling you all soft girl energy over here, right? I just love it. I just love it so supple. And the color, I love it. I like bright colors, but on the low, I like basic monotone type colors. So so um, what I love about it, it has a ton of pockets. It has a ton of inserts here for, you know, journaling cards or what have you, um, pockets here. But this, this part had me sold with this pocket here. If you wanna put stickers or extra inserts, whatever you possibly want. And this reminded me of a wallet, right? It's lined on the inside. Ugh, the smell just hit my nose. I can barely smell, but I did smell that. And I'm excited to, to get to work. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put these inserts in and just kinda of give me some structure on what I plan on doing. My black and gold planner, I have monthly dividers and they're gold, so I don't wanna use them. So I'm just gonna be jumping around, putting inserts in where I see fit. So I'm gonna skip to finances real quick because I already know, um, I have a budget, I have a budget workbook if you're new here. So the only finance stuff I'm gonna put in here is like supporting documentation, like supporting stuff that will help me with my, in addition to my budget planner. And again, I don't want a ton of inserts in here. So there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So there's 10, there's 20 afterpays in here. Girl, so if I need this many, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna put in three inserts here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna play around with everything, put the inserts in, and then I'll come back and talk to you. Okay, so another insert I'm gonna use is my dailies. These are undated. Every day is not crazy, but I like to have them in here for those days that might be. This is a weekly schedule undated that I never received, I mean, never used for cloth and paper. This came in one of their sub boxes many, many moons ago. And, um, I just like this layout because I could just write down like my top priorities. And then this also has a time schedule. So if I wanna get more specific on the time, I can do that. So I'm gonna throw some of these in there. Purchase tracker goes back with finance. Okay, so I've sorted through everything that I have, and this is a pile of stuff that I still want to consider. So I love this to-do list, but it is not neutral. So I don't know if I can get over that. I told you guys I'm really trying to keep this as a minimal holistic planner and this pink is not giving that vibe but i love it's like a little to-do list but let me put this to the side and think about um this one i mentioned or may not have mentioned 
I was using the mom. Oh, well, let me, while I have this, this is another style of kneading notes. Um, I just like to have different, different styles in my planner because if it's a quick kneading, I don't have to waste a whole sheet of paper, you know what I mean? So I like to have different, different options. So I put two sheets there. And I think, I think I had another one, but that's good for now. So this is the mom agenda. And this is the plan that I started the year off with. And what I liked about it is that it has like my week, kids, because usually my kids had something going on, but it's blue. I like this daily reminders card, but I don't like the flowers and stuff. That's not the vibe of this planner. So instead of me trying to peel off the sticker, because it's a sticker that I stuck on the back of a, on these cards, I'm just gonna trim it out. And then I kind of want it on the back of here. I'm not gonna glue it on. I'm just gonna put it in and see if it works. That works, but having this big, pink thing right on the back of it does not work, so I do need to put another dashboard on top of this. This planner does not give me black and white vibes, so we're not gonna do anything black and white. Okay, lastly, there are some stickers that I wanna keep on hand, which is why I specifically chose this planner because it has a big pocket. Um, so I have a ton of stickers that need to be organized as well. This is not even a fraction of my stickers, guys. These are just the ones that I tend to frequent with most often, so I just put them in here. And then I have these cloth and paper minimalistic ones. And these are my Planet Kate stickers for when I'm filming and recording videos that I do want to use these. So let's just turn this bad boy around. Look at all this space. And I can just tuck these in there. Look at that. I don't have to bend them or anything. Perfection. Okay, well the time has come. Let, let's do a flip through of what she looks like. We have our inbox here. So I have all my posters, anything I could possibly want to write, I have it right here, very easy for me to get to. This also comes from Fancy Plan Co, so I would link this down below. We have our 2023 inserts, or our year at a glance, rather. This right here is a vision board insert that I got from Cloth and Paper many moons ago. I'm sure it came in one of the boxes. And we have six months left to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and really come up with the word of the year for my next six months. It's definitely different than what it was in the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna do the work and fill this out. So this is all of the pieces to it. I have a vision board, so I'm gonna fill all that out. This is a year in review. This is to see if I actually did everything I said I was gonna do, so I'll keep that in here. Next, we're at routines. So this insert also comes from Fancy Plans Co. And it just gives you some kind of like a guided what you should do in your plan a daily, weekly, and monthly. So I love this. It helps me make sure that I'm on track and I'm using my planner as it should be used. And then I have the routines insert also from Fancy Plan Co. Okay, next we have our gratitude section. It actually is a gratitude a vellum dashboard. So I just put it over this cardstock dashboard from cloth and paper. And here goes my daily gratitude log. I've only put in two months worth just to make sure I'm consistent in doing that. 
Then we have uh, another ooh, insert, I would say, from cloth and paper. So I just have some page flags. I have daily reminders in here. I'm amazing, I'm capable and positive. Positivity is my choice. I celebrate my individuality. I am prepared to succeed. Just something just get me going for the day. This is my brain dump prompts section. So this I got from a YouTuber. I cannot remember her name, but this is such a great document because it helps you think about everything possible. Well, just about everything possible that you may have to do. So I typically do this prior to the month. So I'm filming this a few days before July. So I will fill this out for July and then that'll help me plan my the month of July, pretty much, okay? This is a to-do list that I got from Plum Paper Planner. So I just thought this went hand in hand with the brain dump so I could write down, I can kind of categorize the sections as things are coming to mind. And I just have notes page. This is also from Plum Paper Plan, I believe. Next, we have our goals. So this also comes from Fancy Plan Co. See, I told you I've been using her for quite some time. So this is great because, again, based on my brain, my brain dump and everything, I like to categorize my monthly goals. So I have my home, my business, wellness, finances, like all the different categories of my life. And I'll just go ahead and give myself some goals I want to complete in the upcoming month. Okay, next we're off to the schedule section. So I have my dashboard here that I believe is from Infinite Lotus. I bought this for the entire year at the top of the year. And then this is a cloth and paper insert. I'll write this out. This was from last year that I never used. But I like this format and I'm really trying to be intentional. I've been intentional all year of reusing inserts and paper that I have because I have a lot of stationery and I really need to get rid of it, use it, or just, you know, repurpose it. So that's what I did with this. So July and I just had to redate it, which was simply easy because I had some, I have a book full of dates and stickers, um, date stickers. I just went ahead and redated it wide it out so i'll just go back and fill in like fourth of july and all those little things there but i just like this layout so i'm going to use this what i didn't realize though that it's a sunday start and not a monday start that may not be a big deal for most people but i like to have my weekends together versus it broken out like this so i did not use this in august yet for the august month you'll see when i get to that Next, I need to just adhere these two pages together. So, because again, I redated this, right? So I just need to make sure I just attach these two pages here. But this also is from Cloth and Paper. This is a undated weekly schedule. And I really like this format because what I like to do is I have to have like my top three or so priorities for the day. And then it also gives you this for time blocking because I really like time blocking. So it gives me the best of both worlds on how I can manage my day. And I have this today tab, this is new. So it's easy for me to just flip over to this section if I wanna know what I have planned for the day. Now this is when things get a little bit crazy. And as I say that, it's because I think planning is personal and you can do your planner as the way you want it. And this is kind of how things get a little tricky for me. So this, I another insert I had that I never used, so I wanna start using it. And it's like the beginning of the week, my commitments, priorities, things I need to organize, any ideas, my intentions for the week. So I would kind of do this before I get to um, this sheet. So this is a weekly schedule, but this is really my dailies. I don't have a nine to five type of job, so I don't need like a daily planner. I think I wouldn't, I know for sure I wouldn't use it every day. So this to me is my daily. So doing this will help me kind of set up my week. Next is my routines. And I know I told you I had a routine section in the front of the planner, which I do. But I really just want to have everything in one section because sometimes I don't actually turn to the other sections in the planner. And then I don't get everything done that I intend to get done. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try to put everything in one section and see if I can be successful that way. So this will be my daily routines for 
the first week in July. Okay, then this is my meal plan for the first week as well. This too has its own section, but again, I'm just trying to keep everything in one location. Um, this is my cleaning chore for the week. And then this is my weekly review. And then this is actually the weekly section. So this, if I could, I would put this, I would put this in the front of my week. Okay, I know it seems kind of weird, but just go on my flow. So with the weekly planner, it's very different for me. I'm just gonna pull this out. And yes, I do slit my holes so it's easy for me to pull in and out like that. But this is very different from this weekly schedule because this, I get to categorize my life. So this section be like home, business, kids, volunteer work, right? So this would be a one-stop shop. So I think this is, is perfect and I wanna continue to use that. So this is my weekly uh, section. And because it's like a week on two pages, like this is one week, this is another week, I put it right here in between the week. So this will be for this week, this will be for the following week. And then that process starts all over again, okay? Next, next I have the August dashboard. And this is the old monthly layout that I did. And like I mentioned, I like the new cloth and paper layout. See, this is a Saturday, Sunday start, and I had already redated it. So I'm gonna see how I like the July layout, and we'll see how August works out. I have some time for that. I took out the weeklies and everything because I didn't wanna make the planner too large. So I only have all the inserts for July. So I only have the monthly for August. The back of the schedule, I have a bunch of daily inserts. So it, it does happen when those, the days get too busy and I need to write like a long to-do list. I'm just a busy day. I have these undated daily sheets that I also got cut in paper many moons ago. Again, just me trying to use as many things I already have. And September, I don't have anything in here. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I have this undated like monthly admin sheet. I'm just gonna put it here just in case something comes up and I just wanna jot it down. So I am going to buy a, a planner. Let me show you what I bought. So how about this monthly planner? I don't even know what I was thinking size-wise. I'm like, oh, this should be five for A5. It is five for A5, but not to fit in here. And the intent of this, I just wanted a monthly planner that I can just have and just jot stuff down, okay? Because you know, and I loved it. It started in August, which was perfect. So this is perfect for pre-planning. And I wanted to have this and just slide it in here, but girl, it was too big. And it's only $4.99 from TJ Maxx and they did have smaller ones. So I'm gonna return it and get a smaller one so that when things come up and I'm not ready to do my monthly spreads yet, I can just have it to pre-plan. So I, I love these little uh, planners for that reason. So I need to return this, get a smaller size. Okay. Next, we're in our notes section. The notes section has a ton of different things. So the back to school checklist right now was the first thing for me in this section because this is the end of June and the kids go back to school in August. So I really need to get to it. And when I saw this on Fancy Plans, I knew I had to get it. I have three kids, so I have three checklists. Now, two of my kids are twins, so their checklist is pretty much gonna be identical, but I do have some supplies, some left, some last year that one of them may reuse, so somebody might need a pencil case where someone doesn't. So I just wanted to have each kiddo can have their each checklist. It's a ton that comes in the pack, so no need to see. The next section is side hustle, so pretty much my business. I have a lot of things that I am working on launching, putting on my Etsy shop and all the things. So I do a lot of jotting down in a notebook, but now the thoughts are out on paper, I just need to really be um, methodical about it and you know really get the execution down, like things I need to do, what I need to do it by. So I have these inserts from Infinite Lotus and I have these from Cloth and Paper also that came in one of the sub boxes. So just depending on what I'm working on. I can use any one of these formats. 
I also include the task delegation. So if there's anything that I could have someone have, whether from my husband or a friend or somebody else, I have this one there. The next section is menus. And as I showed you earlier, I already have a meal plan in my week. So I figured once the week is done, I could just put it in this section. And if it doesn't work the first week and I'd rather flip over to this section, then I'm gonna flip over, but I wanted to have a meal planner section. And then I have the cleaning chores sheets as well. Also inserts I received in the sub box, girl. So that sub box has, has given me plenty. Okay, next is the notes section. So literally note pages, um, cloth and paper have different kinds. And I appreciate having different kinds in here because sometimes I have a quick meeting, a quick phone call that doesn't require a full sheet. So I like to have different inserts in here just depending on what I am working on. Okay. Next we're in the finance section. So I have a separate budget planner that I've created. So I don't, I'm not gonna have much finance related stuff in here, but I figured that this was the best section to put these next items in. And these are from Ella Mom Paper Co. This is old. She was having like a, a last call for this. She no longer makes these inserts and I had a few of them and I just thought it went well with this. So I'm just using them. So this is, uh, I showed you earlier, the social stats from all the social media platforms to see how I'm doing and how I'm growing on my channels. Um, and this is this video content idea. So I have about six months worth of, which is great because if I'm thinking of something, I'm already thinking of things for like the holiday season. So I can just, I might just actually go ahead and put some months, put the dates on it. So if I have an idea, I can just come here and jot it down for December or November, you know? So I think that's that's why I put that many interests in here. And then the social media week, just what days I'm posting what. This too is something I might pull and put in my weekly. Let me just try that in my weekly section so I just don't forget about it. So I might move that over there. And then the last section, girl, is a much needed section. So this is to support my budgeting book. I put the B for budget, even though that's not what this is for, but the B is for budget. Girl, this after pay tracker is a must. So I have this in here and I have a few sheets and then I have these purchase tracker inserts as well. So these are, these are just things that will complement me with my budget planner. And there are a few other printables that I have that I offer on my page. So I'm gonna print a few of them out and put them in here just so I don't have like loose paper hanging around um, and I can use them when I do have my budget planner out. So let me just go ahead and snap this in because this is important. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how this first week works out. You know, if, if it makes sense to have everything here, and then after I use it, I put it in its respective section. So we'll see. And then over here, I just picked out the most, well, the, the things that I thought was the most meaningful to me at this time um, for some journaling cards. So this M is an old one. My initials has an M in it. Ambition, I'm really focused these next six months. Not to say I wasn't, but now, you know, you always have, well, the point is ambition and then moment like this for me right now is a moment i'm just going through some stuff a good way that i'm just thinking about a lot of things i want to do um you know god has given me all these visions and it's my time to execute it so that's the kind of moment that i'm in and then when i saw this start by starting i just thought it went hand in hand with the moment right and i have an audi clip here that it's not holding these together but it's just keeping them together um, like I don't need it for them to stay put, they'll stay put. And then if I need them, obviously in the planner, I can use it. And then you saw that I just tucked my stickers in here. Well, that is it, Divas. I am, I didn't pull this off yet because I'm just old school. I like to keep as much new as I can. I absolutely love this planner. Um, the way I set it up is functional for me. I might peel off these stickers because they just don't look 
aesthetically pleasing with this font. I mean, you know, with this white foil. So I'll just see how I feel about it in the next couple days as I actually start to use the planner. And um, yeah, well, that is it. Thank you. This might have been a long one. And I appreciate you staying to the end. If, if you enjoy budgeting, planning, organization, all the things, because I believe they all go hand in hand, then I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Later.